My name is Jenny Luke, and I'm the CEO of Step Up Women's Network. I've always been motivated by social justice and equal opportunity, and that's really kind of been the through line for my entire career. And so to be able to do that with both teen girls and with professional women was a really exciting concept for me and an opportunity to do something I you know, hadn't really done before. I'm 10th grade sophomore year. I've been involved in Step Up for at least two years now. Freshman year, we focused more on confidence and relationships. And sophomore year right now, we're just focusing on, I'm guessing, more confidence and like beauty and all that right now. Because I love you. Yeah. And um, <laughs> thanks for giving me all that advice. Um, I am because I said I am. Yeah. Now I'm going to give you constructive paper, and you're going to take as many words as you can remember and kind of do your own poem that you just did in pairs. Do your own. So it's your poem, a story, whatever it's going to be, and you're just going to use the words that you heard right now. All right? Okay, cool. That book has helped me be more open with people because before I, was, I just kept close to me, my close friends, and now I'm able to talk to more people. And, and it opens up more connections, I guess. I think the best thing was when I was a freshman that we did like this poster about a relationship that we had, and I did a poster about my dad and how he's kind of, like how he affects me and my future career, which was really like show. And there was also that time where we talked about our relationships and where everyone was just so open up. It was like like a family there, so that like made me really proud to know that everyone here has trust within each other. Like, cause trust is something I find so personal and valuable. Cause in my family, like, I don't know who I could trust, but like, step up, I know I could trust them. Cause I know like, they won't say anything. You are funny and I love you. You have a nice smile and you are a hard worker. Everyone tells me I can rock a beanie. I am artistic, I am creative. In school, smart and quiet, towards others, nice and sweet. And always giving advice, developing trust and a sense of humor. A girl with beauty, colored eyes, and natural hair color. Being nice and trying my best at school, determined to do good in life. Loving people for who they are and accepting me for trusting me. I mean, accepting them for trusting me. So the way that girls get a mentor in our program is first and foremost the girls um, come to our after school programs where you know we're in a school today at one of our school partners and um, the girls uh, sign up with us ideally in ninth grade and then they stick with us all four years of high school until graduation and the mentorship concept that we have is not about one mentor to one girl. It's really this community of women mentoring our community of girls. So we connect them with a mentor usually based on, you know, what are their areas of career interest. And at this age, it's all about exploration. So we are able to take advantage of the vast network of professional women that we have from all different industries and connect the girls based on what they're interested in kind of at that moment. And then the women are able to convey to them their kind of personal story of how they got where they are, the ups, the downs, the good, the bad, the education necessary to get there. Um, you know, it's really kind of about that college and career exploration and then activating around that. Yeah, for you. You didn't want to have it. No, because I'm trying. Oh. Okay. oh, wait, we have to read that? Yeah. No, I mean, if you want to. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, if you want to. My name is Infa Hakeem. This is my second year that I've been involved in Step Up. I decided to get involved in Step Up because I knew that it was a chance and an opportunity for me to get involved with colleges and to be able to, um, like, be, put, be able to put my past in the past and be able to focus on what's going to happen in the future. Before in the past, I was very bullied a lot in fifth grade, third grade, fourth, like uh, even in sixth grade. And the program has helped me understand so social society because there's so much diversity within us. 
and we have to be able to learn about the world. You can't just be inside of your own, your home. You get me. You have to un go outside of outside of the box. Stereotypes and images make the Budweisers ad boring, offensive, and bad. Wait, is the thing talking about this? Yeah. yeah. She said Budweiser a whole bunch of times. Olympic Games. Okay, that's right. <laughs> yeah. We will write again. We have two fundraisers. One of them is called Inspiration Awards at the end of the year, and that is where we celebrate all of you, our teens who are in the program, um, and then also our sponsors who help make our programming possible. At each of these events, we always invite a select number of girls to come attend and network with our women and kind of talk about their step up experience. And so we definitely wanted to open it up to some of you. Um, is there anyone who is interested in taking a field trip slip? Okay. Somebody's, somebody's helping you. But if you don't try to get the help or you don't learn, like, oh yeah, huh, like whatever, but it's you that has to be the one that. And this focus that wants that that object accomplished. My name is Angie Zamora. I've been involved in Step Up ever since my freshman year of high school. Step Up is definitely yeah, it got me out of my shell. It's, it's definitely making me more of a person that speaks my mind and doesn't hold back as to, you know, I don't know what I want to do with my future. I don't know if I should follow other people or do what they say. And it's now I'm, I'm more confident with what I want to do. I know what's the next step I want to take. And it's definitely let me forget about what was in the past or what, you know, you know, speed bumps I had to come across or, or, or obstacles. And it makes me think more about the positive and what I can do to get to college and then be like these amazing women that they bring to be mentors and counselors. Okay, so what we're gonna do since we have a big group, we just kinda kind of walk and then we'll stop periodically to huddle and then that's when we'll talk because if when we're walking and talking it's kind of hard for the people in the back to hear, I, I know. So well this is our first huddle. <laughs> okay. So a lot of help Anna. with uh, visiting colleges, a lot of a lot of touring colleges, a lot of um, talking to women who work in the field that I want to be in. And, and getting a lot of connections because it's really important to have connections and how to know which connection is the best kind. And it's a lot of um, mentoring, mentoring that you know parents, my parents can give me because our parents don't come from like very like educational background or whatnot. And so we get mentored as to how to get to college. We get mentored as to how to choose what you want, what career you want, what's best for you, what suits you best. And so it's a lot of personal, especially one-on-one -on -one help that say our siblings or our parents couldn't give us. We had two of our teen girls who had been with us from the very beginning in our after school programs and they were graduating high school and had been accepted to college. And this was a huge, huge accomplishment for them. And so they went out on stage with a woman who had mentored the both of them at one point. And they got up in front of this room full of seven, eight hundred women and told them where they were gonna be, you know, going to college. And the room just erupts, you know, standing ovation and cheers and, you know, so excited um, at their accomplishment. And the girls came backstage and they just kind of broke down. It's like, I always cry when I tell this one because it was really emotional. And it really just solidified for me why I'm there. But. Um, the girls just started crying and they're like, I cannot, first of all, I can't believe that I did this, you know, that I'm going to college and no one in my family has and no one in my community ever does this. Um, and then they were telling their mentor, they're like, I cannot believe that a room full of 700 women who don't know me support me. And they've helped me accomplish this. And it was just amazing to see these girls who statistically don't have a shot and they, did it themselves, they really overcame, they worked really hard, and they got what they wanted, and they got it with the support of their community, and it was just a really, really cool thing to see. It's a program where a lot of women, when they realize, when you know they hear about it through friends or family or whatnot, they think, wow, this is such a good program, and not only, not until they come into an actual session, 
or they come to a, an event or uh, an award ceremony or something like that do they re really realize that young girls really take this seriously that they appreciate every single you know minute of energy that you know people like Nikki or you yourself or, or just anybody else like put into step up to try to get events going to try to find you a mentor to try to find you an internship and it's it's we're so grateful for that and we're so humble to them and it's a big difference it's a drastic change and, and it's always for the better